Politicians recognize the importance of nonverbal communication. They carefully select their attire, rehearse their appearances, and deliberate on whether to smile or shake hands. All of this is meticulously practiced. It's a form of theater, a true performance, and we will observe how well these actors play their roles. We always note how candidates enter the stage, waving to someone in the audience, pointing, and so on. Sometimes these gestures are merely artificial. They're aware their expressive gestures will be photographed and act accordingly. As you might have noticed, debate participants are rarely placed close to each other. There's usually a distance of at least two to three meters between them. This is because they don't want you to notice height differences, which becomes less perceptible when they stand separately. Notice the frequent use of blue in the background, a shade between ocean and sky, which calms the human brain. Many wear dark blue suits with white shirts and red or burgundy ties, subconsciously evoking the American flag's colors, blue, white, and red. Nowadays, nearly everyone wears a pin resembling the American flag, a rarity 30 years or even 20 years ago, but now almost a mandatory attribute. Consider whether the absence of such a pin means someone is not patriotic. Of course not. It's a play on your subconscious, a theatrical detail catering to the current demands of the audience. We examine their behavior and compare it to what we've seen from them in the past. It's not advisable to rely on body language to discern truthfulness in these staged events. Body language serves to complement or confirm what we see, whether gestures align with words or diverge in meaning. Personal observations include reactions when the moderator poses a question, lip biting, attempts to relieve tension, such as loosening a collar, and signs of concern like a furrowed brow. It's intriguing to note that signs of discomfort when faced with a question, such as clearing the throat or raising a shoulder, often signify uncertainty. Pay attention to their hands. Are the thumbs up as a sign of confidence or down in doubt, and clasping hands in a prayer-like gesture as a significant indicator of assurance? During debates, unpredictable moments often occur, such as the instance in 2016 when President Trump followed Hillary Clinton, appearing almost stalker-like. Such actions provoke verbal reactions, revealing some behaviors as responses to another candidate's actions. Authentic moments like these allow us to understand a person's intentions and honest reactions. Gestures and communication are interconnected, as research shows. Restricting hand movements affects memory recall, energy levels, and communication frequency. Previously, influential individuals were expected to make broad, expansive gestures. However, in the era of Zoom, gestures must be within the camera's frame to be seen. People are so sensitive to nonverbal communication that pointing can trigger reflexive reactions, usually negative. But changing this gesture to an open, vertically held palm elicits a different response, preferred by many. One of the most popular gestures is the thumb, used by candidates to express their thoughts, with the thumb protruding from behind the index finger, symbolizing a grasp on the narrative's thread. This differs from precision gestures, signaling a desire for the audience to focus on a specific point. Open palms indicate openness and receptiveness, with fingers spread wide, attracting attention. Other gestures, like touching the heart or chest, are often portrayed as signs of honesty, although they are neutral gestures used by both criminals and innocents alike, creating an impression of sincerity but not necessarily indicating truthfulness. Some politicians rehearse hand gestures while others refuse any coaching. The key question is the authenticity of their gestures versus those that are borrowed. Typically, individuals long in their positions or in politics do not significantly change their nonverbal communication. Let's consider President Trump's gestures such as joining the index finger and thumb during speeches, using elbows to emphasize words, closing eyes to disapprove, or lifting the corner of the mouth as a sarcastic reaction. These actions reveal disagreement, dissatisfaction, or disdain. Notably, Trump often adopts a self-hugging posture in the White House, but appears more confident and authoritative on television, presenting a contrast worth questioning. Joe Biden's gestures include touching his lips, a contemplative behavior, and furrowing his brow when making a point. His voice often lowers for emphasis, and like many, he purses his lips when displeased. This gesture is not indicative of deception, but rather communicates current thoughts. 
People seldom remember words but often recall images, as illustrated by the infamous tank incident with Governor Dukakis, highlighting how a single appearance can undermine one's stance and image. Body language is a vital part of our communication, deeply integrated and responsive to our audience, serving not merely as support but as an essential component of communication itself.